Hello everyone, welcome back to The Illust Illuminator. So before I start with all the readings for the mid month, I just want to give you guys a quick update in regards to the personal readings. I have mentioned it on the community section as well. Um, I should have anticipated on the amount of orders that came in, but I didn't. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I was some type of superhero or something. Um, I've been always fully booked for three months ahead and somehow I thought that I could handle it. No. So um, yeah, it took me almost a month to get finished up until the 9th of June reading. So that's like five days in a month time and I've been really working myself my butt off. So yeah, that was really it took too much of me and I lost like 11 pounds, that's like 5 kilo in a month time. That's how much energy I have been putting out. So if you see me lose, like if you see like I've lost weight, just know it's this month I'm working on it. Um, so yeah, for everyone that has ordered a reading um, between the 9th and the 19th of June, because that was the last day that I just put a hold on it. Um, just expect it to be delayed for two weeks. So yeah, that was two months of fully booked. Uh, but I did not want to delay any of the YouTube free readings. I don't want to, you know, make anyone feel like less valued or anything just because there are people also waiting. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, you know, it would be maybe better to do the personal readings and finish that up and start the... YouTube, but I'm not really a fan of that because I just want to be, I just want to make sure that everyone gets um, a reading and also when it's free. So yeah, just uh, I hope you respect my um, my choice also for the personal readings that are now waiting uh, much longer than a month. I hope you understand that it's, you know, it's not human to do this many readings. So yeah, I'm just very excited. I hope, um, I hope to get your understanding and your patience and yeah they will be finished up before the end of the month and I will put up new slots for um, you know at the end of the month as well for uh, August so yeah keep that in mind thank you so much for your trust with me and your patience in me I uh, really really appreciate all the good feedback and everything that I've been uh, receiving from all of you so thank you and let's start with the reading Hello Virgo, welcome back to The Illust Illuminator. Welcome if you're new. So let's see what we got going on for the mid-months for you. Let's see what the teams are for you, Virgo. I was getting a message, or maybe it's just a warning. Uh, watch out for any type of gossip, okay? Because someone may be trying to manipulate you or trick you into some type of a vicious gossip. Do not fall prey for that, okay? Because this person is highly manipulative and this individual may be trying to make you feel a little bit um, disillusioned, okay? So do not fall prey, just keep your mouth a little bit shut. If someone is trying to get some type of information out of you, it will be because they need to pass it on to someone else. So that could be as well as work or it could be, you know, in a group setting or something like that. So just wanted to... Uh, whoop, to tell you that we've got the guide coming up so a guide a mentor a trustworthy ally so this month you may be in need of some special guidance or some extra guidance to help you go through um, again look at these two people they they are a little bit gossiping as well so maybe you need to be very mindful of who you are sharing your secrets with or if someone is really trustworthy if they are really there to help you what are their intentions because maybe someone is trying to you know get some type of an information out of you and in the form of like I want to help you just tell me more about it but in the meanwhile they might be doing something else okay let's see what else yeah soul cage rescue escape from captivity and restrictions this is a good month for you to release wow this is really good Look at that, we've got the freedom card, independence, self-determination, and the return of the Aphrodite. So some of you are really going to release yourself from a bound situation. This could be 
devil type of energy that you're trying to get yourself out of or you're helping someone to get out of a very difficult situation in their life and you could be that guy that uh, is actually the trustworthy one trying to help but there might be some people around the individual that you're trying to help that are trying to make you feel like the bad person like makes me uh, think of that phrase of like uh, you all want to have someone to point your fingers at to, to show that you're the bad guy, right? Scarface! Yeah, we're talking about Scarface. Jeez, okay. That's the bad guy. <laughs> so let's see, where does Scarface come from? Okay. So we're not only having songs, we're now expanding into movies, okay? Personal issue re reaches a resolution. This is a full moon in Cancer. We just had the new moon in Cancer. So there might be some type of an issue that you had with someone that is now coming to an ending. And a win-win situation is in the forecast. So whatever the situation was that was off balance, that was not get, treating you fairly, it is going to be rectified, okay? This is a lot of universal energies that are being rectified libra season is coming up for you that is going to be very significant for um, for some type of resol resolution in a conflict or within yourself a personal issue but this feels like with other people because there is libra here involved so it could be cancer being the home life being the family the foundation that you have built up okay so there could be a lot of restriction within the home life Duh, I think that's a very uh, straightforward one. So let's see, we've got the Queen of Swords for you coming up. That could be involving an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or that's just your energy where you really need to take a distance of your emotional, uh, of the emotions that you're feeling, and really act upon your um, act upon your logical side. Okay, so. This is a little bit cold energy, which I feel like is going to be very needed for you. Um, this is a lot of awareness. This is a lot of logical thinking, thinking with the mind, not really getting caught up in any emotions, not wearing your emotions up your sleeve and making very uh, pragmatic decisions towards the future. So this is a lot of, yeah, towards the future, chariot, cancer season again. So let's see, let's see with the tarot card, what else? before I can make a whole story for you, Two of Swords, Four of Pentacles. I feel like someone is trying to convince you. Someone here is trying to convince you of a situation, but they're not open-minded. I feel like there is one person that comes with facts, that comes with straightforward um, energy and then there is one person that is very narrow-minded that's not really open to hear what you have to say or feel like you are being very oppressive or very uh, judgmental even or attacking almost so that's how they perceive you or vice versa could also be but th someone here in occasion is being very closed off like they, they they don't like to see from your perspective they uh, they are a little bit in denial about whatever the situation is in your life and I feel like you're you're a little bit tired of that like you're like uh, I don't I don't want to hear that BS like no, if you're too narrow-minded, just, you know, move into the other direction and you don't want to, you don't want to put yourself in that situation, so, and it's hard to convince a person that is not open, it's hard to convince someone that is having such a narrow-minded mentality is what I'm picking up because this is a lot of denial let's be honest this is a two of swords it's someone with blindfolds on and does not want to hear anything everything is blocked the heart is blocked the mind is blocked uh, they only believe in what they hear or what they know and I feel like you have a very high perspective here with the queen of swords type of energy coming up and you're very blunt you're very truthful you're cutting through a lot of things with facts so that's very good. That's very good. Let's see what else. Four of Cups. But it does make you feel a little bit disappointed. Like your your ideas, your way of communication is being disregard, discarded by this individual. So you may feel a little bit, 
you know, down and depleted because of that, because you're like, why does this person not accept my point of view? Because this is a point of view that is being rejected. And it could be that someone is trying to ignore uh, just to get the upper hand out of the situation. And that could make you feel a little bit down. We are with the Four of Cups. What else? Strength card coming up. So you are, you are being asked to hold your standpoint. That's what I'm picking up. It's, it's because I see the Queen of Swords popping out as your first card. It's like, keep your boundaries up. Um, so just stay strong within your opinion. That's really what I'm getting through very strongly for you, Virgo. Because you will win. At, at the end, he who lasts best, he who lasts, last lasts best, right? So that's, that's really what I'm picking up for you. What else for my dear Virgo? Nine of Wands. I'm like, okay, did I shuffle them upside down? Because you have all the cards in the upright, which is really unique for me, you know that? But everything is in the upright, meaning that your intentions and your your belief system, your the way that you're thinking about a topic or a situation is correct. That's what I'm picking up. But it does create a lot of disbalance with people that is are in your surrounding and I feel like the more that you're trying to give them the solid answers or the solid advice the more they they, they, they push you into some type of a corner and that that's something that you make that made you feel a little bit down or uh, rejected for whatever you're saying but I feel like the one that is going to you know the last man standing here with the nine of wands is going to be you because you got Facts is what I'm hearing. Like you, you really come forward with very logical arguments and facts, and that's where you need to be focusing on because you are the warrior and you will overcome this situation with triumph. It will take some some energy, perhaps, for you to really stand your ground and to not bow down to people that are trying to be a little bit narrow-minded to you. But yeah, maybe it will make you feel like you're missing out. The opportunity with this individual to you know patch things up but if you're mentally not on the same page or you're mentally not on the same frequency yeah that you know sometimes it can be due to flexibility it's okay but when it's clashing too much it can be very exhausting and energetically draining so do not let these people drain your energy Seven of Swords reversed, yeah. Woo, Queen of Pentacles, there you are. So you, you, this is you coming from the Queen of Swords, getting into the Queen, Queen of Pentacles. Queen, okay. Queen of Pentacles. Um, yeah, I do sometimes have that. Like, I cannot help it. Just forgive me for it. Queen of Pentacles here. So that's, that's you coming back into your full power. With the strength being in the heart of your reading, I mean... This is you getting your right because look at this beautiful energy. Seven of Swords in the reverse. So someone has been showing off their um, dark side to you and it's going to be revealed. And it's, I don't feel like it was something that you weren't expecting. Maybe you weren't. That's why you were a little bit disappointed. Maybe in your own capacity to understand human beings. And you were like, wow, I really thought that you were different and turns out to be they were not and you were just disregarding your own intuitive ability until a point that you were like hey okay this is not cool this is not okay i mean like i got facts what do you get um, and they have a false mask that is falling off which is quite funny because yesterday i was thinking about this month of june are we no i'm we're in july i'm sorry i'm still in the orders of june I'm a little bit in, in the past. I stuck in the past. But um, yeah, I was really thinking of this month and it was all Seven of Swords-ish. Like I felt, the, I felt that this month, definitely because we just had the third eclipse. Um, so we just finished the eclipse season. A lot of dark energy because that's darkness. That's the dark portal, right? That's releasing that energy. All that energy just came to the service and and I was like, wow. 
So I'm sure that all of you may have experienced that where you're like, wow, I really did not think that you were this type of individual, but you are, which is okay. Another chapter closed, another lesson learned. So yeah, the moon, it's talking about cycles, a lot of insecurities, not insecurities, not for you, no, I'm sorry. This is more a little bit of insert uncertainty about the future and being a little bit in illusion about some people or some situations and things that are still going to be revealed and brought to your awareness this month, which are going to ch change a lot of things in your life. But we have the last card out. The only card that's coming out is the Eight of Pentacles reversed with the Seven of Swords reversed. So if you're seeing someone that is not acting truthfully and you know you've, you, now you've seen their true colors and their true face, do not engage. Like I say, I don't know, when I said it was in one of the readings, I was like, do not make any eye contact with these individuals. Like, do not make eye contact, you know what I mean? Just work your way around them. And with the Eight of Pentacles reverse, like this is saying stop putting effort in people that have already shown you their true color and their true face. And I feel like you're already doing that, so good for you. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of good dharma coming your way with this win-win situation in the forecast. Let's see, what else for Virgo before I move forward to the extended reading with the he said, she said spread. Hidden blessings, yeah. As much as this person... Whomever this is has been bringing you a lot of toxicity. This is the number eight again. You got the eight here in the heart of your reading. So that you got the eight of pentacles here. So this is three times eight. Eight, eight, eight is a very abundant and blessed number, but also a karmic number. So what you put out, you will receive. So if you keep on engaging with people that are a little bit deceptive, deceptful or they've shown you like I said their true colors and you keep on feeling that you know it will come back around and the, that energy will stay stuck but if you don't put your energy and investment in it you will soon realize the hidden blessings of why these people had to drop down your um, your path because your path is at this point being cleared up so it may take a little while is what I'm hearing before the wheel is going to turn, but it's something that is going to make things much easier for you in your life. Uh, a lot of good blessings. This, these are definitely blessings from Jupiter. Do not forget. And with the Knight of Wands, there is a lot of movement forward. And I also feel like there, there is some type of Sagittarian, Leo or Aries energy that wants to peek through. Definitely Sagittarian for me. So if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they may come forward towards you after a period of silence. So yeah, that was my reading. I hope uh, you got something out of it. If you did, press the like button and I'm thankful for that. Um, I will continue on my website illuminator.com for the extended readings. The link are, is down in the description box below this video. And I hope to see you guys there or I see you guys in August already. So see you then and take care guys. Bye.